Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Brothers Tournaments. And again, I am Survival Man, and I'll be doing this every now and then, but not every day. Um, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please hit that like, like button below, and uh, also show your support by commenting if you can. And if you like seeing more, if you want to see more of these, please do say so if you need to. And then I will be kindly, hopefully, try to upload them as fast as I can. And in today's uh, clip, in today's clip, or uh, today's uh, episode is going to be another fresh round and I do have a bracket builder on my phone and I will keep track of who wins what match so and I'm doing this a little bit behind my schedule than I was hoping to do so just keep an eye on the time when this actually does upload so just bear with it for now and, um, and I'm gonna keep down my voice and uh, the volume as much as I can. So just bear with it for now. And it's gonna be like this for a while. So. And, uh, we're gonna do Smash. Solo. And. We're gonna bump down. I'm gonna show you a couple things before I start the next round. Now, see that it's actually... The stock and time is 10 minutes. I'm actually going to bump it down to 5 minutes. Make the battles go a little quicker. Okay. Now. Now, I'm going to click out of here and. And I'm going to click a, click on a random character here. Even though they're not the champion. Because in this round. You will be surprised. It's not the same one before. It's a different character this time around. So just keep in mind. Possibilities are always possible. So I'm going to select uh, Zelda here and take her out. Even though she's not part of the tournament. Now. This time around, that each time, um, one contender wins a match, their level goes up one. And when it comes to the final battle, their level stays the same from the previous battle. And you're going to see that probably in the next episode or two, which is going to be tomorrow. Just keep an eye out for it tomorrow if you can, that is. And in today's match, the two contenders are now, and I'm looking at the bracket here, and there is two contenders, which is are going to be sword fighters. Bear with me here, so I'm trying to... Link is the main one. And then the other contender, you're going to hear his name as well. Marth. Okay, now the, now the match is ready to be, ready to go here. Now, the reason why I'm doing a random, different, uh, random fields every time, because I have a deck of cards that I draw from from the field section and it's going to be none other than the prism tower so so prism tower is selected at random even though you can hit the random button and it selects for you but I like to do it like this way, so I draw a card, and whatever field these contenders are going to is where they're going. So it's 
basically, it's a deck of cards of all the fields I currently have, except the ones that are not numbered, and those are the final destination and the battlefield, and those are the actual final battles and the champion battle, so. And they do have the writing of the final battle for battlefield and and a champion battle for final destination and it even says it right on it now besides all the fields that I'm talking about now the link uh, did a little bit of a time freeze which allows your opponents to slow down unless it backfires on you it will make you slower than your than your opponent so just be on a watch out for that, because that actually can lead to somewhere you don't want to lead. So just bear with me for now. If you can't hear me, just bear with it for now. And I'm trying to keep my voice down so that it doesn't carry, so that I don't hear any problems I should put out. Ooh, that, i never seen Marth do that before, not at all. Well, it looks like Marth is out by one, but Link is actually out, went out twice now, and so he only has one knockout left to survive. Now, if this match carries after five minutes, you're going to see how it carries out the winner if it's if the record let's say the record's 2 to uh, 2 to 1 and whoever has the record of 2 will be declared as the winner now if it was 2 to 2 whoever if there's no declaration there which means it'll be sudden death so then whoever takes out their opponent first is the winner immediately so there's no saving there's no going back it's just gotta be really careful because it's actually 300 percent of your damage which allows your opponent on both sides to take severe damage like or um marth went out so now it's a fair game now so it's either that marth or link goes out this this time around but unfortunately link on the other hand, well, now he healed himself, which he was over 100%, and he is now down to 20%, which allows him to stay in a little longer, which is going to be quite the battle here. So you're going to see the difference here. And see, Marth co uh, collected an item that allowed his opponent to be smaller than him, so it allows him to launch easier, but your attack will be decreased. And Link is out. Like I said, if if there was no knockouts for a while, there would have been a death match. Would have been so called sudden death. So and I'm hoping at some point it'll be that at that uh, hopefully it will be that at some point. But unfortunately, I'm going to go to my uh, bracket here and select Marth since Marth is actually the winner in this first match. Now the next match is actually Bayonetta, a new character, and Felco, okay? Bayonetta is actually a new character and you're going to see what she has stored for her. And I'm not gonna spoil what kind of weapon she's got. Let me just say she's loaded. Let me put it that. Let me just say she's loaded. Loaded. I mean, literally loaded. You you will see why she's loaded. <laughs> she is literally. I'm not joking. Literally <laughs> loaded. <laughs> oh man, I even laughed myself to to death here, but not really death. But you'll see what I mean. So Bayonetta is selected here, and now her opponent is Falco, which is also a um, a, 
uh, an ally from the uh, Star Fox, which is also known as Fox, the original. Which I don't think Fox is in this tournament this time around. Well, actually, he, he isn't. So, we're going to see who else is part of this, too. So, now, before I start selecting fields here, because I could hit A and get the same field, but I'm glad I didn't, because it's Jungle Japes from the None Other series that you guys probably known a lot older than you, and actually older than me, actually currently, since it's been out for a long period of time, it's none other than Donkey Kong series. So Bayonetta, as you can see, she's quite a unique person, and you're gonna, I'm gonna show you. A, um, hopefully, she can show off a couple details about her, and you're gonna see that in this clip here. If if she can show them off a little bit, if she can, that is. Okay, so she showed off a, the butterfly effect, so she allows her to jump a little higher, and with that too, that if you hold uh, the up and jump at the same time, allows her to use the, allows her to jump a little higher, and use, and you double jump, at, you jump once, and you do it again, you, it's a pretty pro, pre, repeated process, so it allows her to jump about, hmm, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five times. So you could do this for five times just to get up a little higher. So see that uh, uh, special there that she did? The twirl that allows her to go up allows her to do a jump after it. Allows her to jump a little higher. And then she does it again for the third time. And then does the butterfly effect like she showed you there. And allows her to jump the fourth time and then the fifth time allows her to use allows her to use uh, that special up one last time and then it and she's done jumping there but that's a that's all I'm gonna describe there and there's also something about her too it's just something that she can use and she hasn't used it yet which is kind of um, odd but she has not used yet And she's out by one. Now, so it's a tie game, and there's only remaining two minutes and 50 seconds left to go. And if there's no knockouts between the time that is now, okay, now you see that she used guns from her hands. Now, she also has guns at her feet. So there's a total of four guns currently on her. Her hands, she is holding guns, and then her heels, her, um, her shoe heels, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're, the shoes that, uh, high heels. So she has high heels that's added with guns combined at her feet, so that she uses two guns at her will at the same time from her hands and using the two guns at her feet at the same time, at her will. So, yes, there are four guns on her. If she could show off her feet guns here in a couple seconds here, if she can, that is. So I don't think she showed them off yet, but she just showed off the main... Okay, it's a fair game, and there's only a minute and 40 seconds left, and spoke too soon. But the winner in this match is Loco. So I'm gonna describe a little bit about um, Bayonetta here. She also does have a smash, which is so epic. Let me just put it there. But unfortunately, is that it only for it to work is that if the time it shows you a little clock in the middle of the screen, you gotta hit your opponent certain amount of times and then the smash will be active and and let me just say 
and it's not what you will be expecting to come. Well, let me just put it that. So, Falco is the winner in this match, and and I'm gonna stop talking about Bayonetta here, and uh, and once you use her, which you do have to purchase her through the game itself, um, I forgot how much for each character it would be, but you can get her in a uh, combo pack, which allows you to get her, her field, and her, um, her, uh, two trophies from her. So it's kind of neat. Um, but in this match, there is none other than, from the Hedgehog series, Sonic the Hedgehog. And then from, I don't know where this is from, but I know it's uh, one of the characters in this game, and it's none other than Captain Falcon. And he is a fist fighter, which I'm kind of, uh, yeah, not a big fond, but I still use him at, one, at some point. So Sonic is also a fist fighter and also a kicker in this match. So, now, let's see how long this takes. Probably longer than five minutes, I hope. Oh, well, it, eh, I don't know. So, and yes, I do have a feel for this. And, I'll show it off here in probably two or three seconds here. Does it recognize you from anywhere? Probably not if you're not familiar with the game itself. If you take a look at the field just a little every time it moves, where does this field come from? Well... Well, Sonic just went out on the first run, so then that is a one point. Or one knockout for Captain Falcon there. Hmm. So, you probably recognize those ghost sets right there that has a platform on its head. Um, that is giving you a hint of what game this is from. So, just keep in mind that and also the uh i think it's called a chump dog i think it's called but i'm not a hundred percent i think it's chump i think it's what it's called and sonic just got a beating over a hundred here So, let's see who wins this match, but it's already getting down there in the time, so... Hey, so it's 2-0 to zero right now, so that it could change pretty quick. That's only if Sonic can get him out two more times, and he will be tied with Captain Falcon. And that's his, his that's actually is his opponent, so if he can get him out... Okay, that's one, but I don't think it counted. So there are self-destructs in this game, um, which means, believe it, believe it, I'm wrong. Or not. If I'm wrong on this, believe it or not, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong on this, please do tell me in the comments below that I believe uh, self-destructs counts only if your opponent has not hit you at any time. Otherwise, it would not count as a self-destruct. 
So Captain Falcon is the winner in this match. And I'm gonna go down to one more, since it's, there's one more to go for this round. And I'm only doing four matches at a time so that you can see the contenders at the start. And then at, at the half point will be the rest of the contenders, including the champion at the end. So, and yet, I am not going to spoil who the champion is in this match, or in this tournament, currently. It's not the same one previously. So it's not the same one. It's someone different. There might be some people that are thinking, it was, it, it, it might be the same one, you never knew. Well, guess what? If you think twice, there's a possibility that there's another champion that you probably don't know about. But unfortunately, there is... Okay, now, back into the game here. Now, now... Remember the character I told you about that uh, also was similar smash to um, Ike's? You probably would recognize the sound of the name, so I'm going to stay quiet for a couple seconds. So, if you heard that, you probably would recognize what, who Robin is. But now, Robin is actually one of the characters that is more a, uh, uh, a magician, a, a, a magician type, which allows him to use, um, magic of any kind. So, you're gonna see that in this match, and also, not other than, I believe this is the enemy for, uh, I believe if I'm not mistaken, that the, this is the enemy for the Link series, none other than Ganondorf, if I'm hoping I'm saying that right, and, and in this match, they are heading to... You're gonna like this field, actually, currently. You're gonna like this one. So, number 28 of all 38, except the two that don't have numbers. Number 30, no, number 28 is none other than Tabatachi Life. And like I said, you're gonna like this field. And the reason why I like this field is, number one, that each, each uh, wall is revealed by a room, even if you made Mii's in the actual Mii Maker, your me that you created will be in this field. And uh, believe it or not, that if you made a me that is currently within the Mii Maker, they can actually show up in this field, and then you can just hop around in each floor, and each wall has been revealed within itself. But if there's nobody in the room, it means you don't have a whole lot of knees, but you still will have a, quite a lot. And as of right now, I do not currently have a whole lot of knees. I do not have a lot of me characters. But I do have a lot of me fighters in this game by itself and alone, which is kind of, uh, kind of, kind of a, a annoying that I have a lot of me's in this game. But the me maker itself, I don't have a whole lot, which is kind of odd. So, there are a couple people that I know, and I actually, if I actually know certain people, and I will add them to my me list. And I'll make them in my me maker. 
Now, the Snaggy uh, Pokeball um, only does a Vine Whip, which uh, strikes your opponent uh, repeatedly, so that you'll be uh, immobile to not to do anything at all currently. And but if your opponent took took the Pokeball and tossed it, like I said, anything within that lies within the Pokeball is chosen at random. So if you want a Snivy to come out, the chances are the chances to the odds of that would be one in uh one in let's say approximate about uh, I would say a hundred of things that are in the Pokeball. So the chances of a Snivy to come out of that would be one in a hundred. But normally in a Pokemon game, you can choose your Pokemon at random by choosing a correct Pokeball at throwing at it to capture it. And then it'll be yours officially, but with that, it could mean that it could break open where you would have a difficulty time um, opening that or revealing, uh, trying to capture it in, in, in some way. Okay, so Ganondorf went out twice now, and uh, Robin has not gone out yet. And he still has three hit points. Or three knockouts. Actually, three hit, no, uh, hit points actually sounds better for me because it's a lot easier and I'm so used to it so I'm gonna go with that <laughs> even though it's knockouts I'm just just bear with me I'm just gonna go with hit points so if you're wondering what hit points mean um, think of Pokemon for example hit points is their health so that's why that's why I want to take it from that so that I can currently use the uh, hit points, so that allows me to know how many is left. Now, now, like I said, Ganondorf has one hit point, and Robin has three hit points. Now, um, Robin has now got knocked out finally. But it actually is now, there's going to be a declaration, and the winner is going to be revealed right now. And the winner is... Robin. Now, you see that the timer went out. So, that means Robin had... Um... Two knockouts within, um... The tournament here. So then, yes, he has a record of... Two KOs and one fall from his opponent. And now the opponent, also known as Ganondorf, which was still in the game even though the game ran out of time. So he had two falls by his none other than Robin, as you can see the winner here. And and he has he made one KO. None other than the winner right now. But that means that if the time runs out and the it was a tie game, it'll be a sudden death, and the knockouts won't count. It means that once you take out your opponent, you automatically win the game immediately. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So just be careful the time you choose and the amount of knockouts. You choose to as well. Survival. So Robin is the winner in that match. Now, 
Now the bracket that I've got here is going to select four of the remaining uh, contenders. And those characters are, and I'm going to reveal them right now, since I have a little bit of time. Marth, Falco, Captain Falcon, and Robin are the four remaining contenders. And basically at round two, the bracket will reveal the next match. But... Unfortunately, I am sorry yet again. I'm going to end it right here. Um, so I'll be expecting another session like this sometime tomorrow. And hopefully I have more time to do more of this. But as of right now, it's, it's getting late for me. So I'm going to end it right here. So if you like this video, please leave a like and show me your support. And, if you like these series of tournaments, leave a comment below. And if you want to see more of these, also leave a comment. And, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Super Smash Brothers Tournament. Peace.